New at 10, he tried to get help. A man suffering from a mental crisis shot and killed hours after being released from a hospital. Why do we have to wait until something bad happens? Family members say they do not blame the shooter. They say it brings to light a bigger issue with mental health. Rebecca Love talked to the family who tried to get their loved one help before he died. Yes, yeah, Steve and Carol, the family of Jonathan Blackman says he can be dangerous and hard to handle when he's in a mental health crisis, but they want to know why he was on the streets when he went to the hospital just hours before his death. Jonathan Blackman grew up like most kids, happy, joking, funny. He played football, he liked sports a lot, Packers, and like all and like movies a lot. But a few times a year, his family says Jonathan went from a smiling man to this. Bipolar, my man is depression. This surveillance video Sunday inside a gas station at 31st in Lisbon shows Jonathan pulling a woman by her jacket and throwing things around the store. The family says they know what was wrong with him. He was very mad at that point. Police say Jonathan got into a confrontation with a man armed with a gun. Outside the store, that man shot and killed Jonathan. His family says they don't blame the man. I could see somebody being afraid of him. His family says two days before he was killed, Jonathan went to the Milwaukee County Mental Health Complex, where he was later released. The day he died, his brother says he went to St. Joseph's Hospital and was let back on the street a few hours before his death. He died about a, a couple hours after he left the hospital, so to me that told me he wasn't, you know, he wasn't in my right mind state. Why did y'all let him go to, from the hospital? That's a big question. The family says no matter what hospital Jonathan went to, they heard the same thing. We can't really do anything until he becomes harmful. Now, I did call Ascension St. Joseph for a comment. I was told no one was available. The Milwaukee County Health Complex was closed when I called and emailed them. If you or someone you know is suffering from a mental health crisis, there are several free and low cost resources in the area. You can find those at tmj4.com slash links. Now, police did tell us they are still looking for the man who shot Jonathan. No word on his, if he's going to face charges. Stephen Carroll. This really is a mental health crisis. Thank you very much, Rebecca.